there some highlights of ways that like folks have made Ramadan or made spaces more inclusive during Ramadan and some lowlights of, of when folks have missed the mark? What are some examples that you would share? Yeah, I think another example that I would share is actually just last year I was in grad school and my grad classes mm -hmm. happened in the evening, so they'd go from 6 to 8.30. And so when the professor the last day wanted to bring in treats, or I think she, we were just talking about like local favorite bakeries and she wanted to bring in mm -hmm sweet treats and so she knew that it was d during Ramadan and I told her like it was okay that she brought in like it's okay if my classmates eat in front of me and she was like no I'm not that's you know there's another way around it and so we end she ended up having the cookies and the um, cupcakes and muffins were all wrapped and so it was mm -hmm. at the end of class that she offered people like take a sweet treat on your way out mm -hmm. because it's the holy month of Ramadan and I thought mm -hmm. that was just super special and sweet because I don't like I didn't announce to the class that I was fasting or what, yeah. what Ramadan is. So sometimes when people are intentional with their actions, like it prov allows the space for greater conversation on like what is Ramadan yeah. and why do you fast, and people can um, have a better understanding and get to know their colleagues or their peers or whatever wherever they're at. So that's I would say another example. Yeah. Are there any low lights you want to share? <laughs> <laughs> you can leave out details. A low lights. <laughs> I would say in terms of just the what not to do, uh -huh. um, don't pity people. Um, mm -hmm. You know, religion and faith and what we believe in is something very personal to us and we, this is at the end of the day something we choose to do. Yeah. So telling people you feel bad for them or I'm so sorry, like it's some condolences mm -hmm. thing, <laughs> like it's not the end of the world right. and it's, it's a month that we like are proud of and like again, like it, there's so much self-determination that we learn about ourselves during this month and just like can we connect with ourselves and it's a moment of for our, for us on a daily pace, basis to pause instead mm -hmm. of just like being very routine and like waking up and having that first cup of coffee or going to lunch and what am I going to eat during the day and all planning out all those meals like it's something we don't have to think about at all so throughout like after we get used to it the first few days like we're just like oh it's easy to not think about what am I going to have for lunch right. or <laughs> what snacks am I going to pack today so I would say that's something um you know, don't do that to your colleagues. I mean, you mentioned some of the other things earlier, like, you know, don't offer people a slice of pizza at lunch, you, <laughs> yes. know? you know, just be mindful, it sounds like, of, of uh, the experience of your colleagues or friends or whomever is, is observing Ramadan. Yeah, exactly. And something else to do, too, and I encourage people, and I know when it comes to asking questions, people feel different ways around questions, and I always tell people, like, please ask questions, please be curious, it's okay, yeah. um, but being judgmental is not, so mm -hmm. <laughs> just being mindful of that too. Yeah, which again, I mean, you're doing great. It's almost like we practiced this. Oh, thank <laughs> you're, you. You're walking into my next question. And actually, another thing, <laughs> another don't would be to ask someone if you know they are Muslim, why aren't they fasting? So there are different reasons that people don't fast. So women who are pregnant, breastfeeding, or they're on their period, don't fast. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's, it's, it's just a, embarrassing question to just straight up ask yeah. someone that when you do know that they're fasting and you see them that they're not fasting on a certain day or specific day or some someone with health issues serious health issues or um, they have to take like certain medication during the day yeah. that they can't fast so that's also another reason that people can't fast yeah that's really good to know and I mean also a piece of in inclusion and an inclusivity that's built into the practices and tradition of, of Ramadan which yeah. is really beautiful